Little fox, why are you late today? Your two friends waited for you and just left. Auntie Rabbit asked Little Fox, I'm not late, Auntie. Auntie, School starts late today, Little Fox replied. Why is that? Master Elephant, our teacher, has to go somewhere. Little Fox lied to Auntie Rabbit. Little Rabbit didn't tell me anything about this, Auntie Rabbit thought. She has also left care biscuits I made for her. I better send them to the school. Here, little fox, can you bring these biscuits to little rabbit? Auntie Rabbit asked. Yes, of course, Auntie Rabbit. Give them to me, little fox said. I wonder if the carrot biscuits are tasty. I must eat one and see, little fox thought. He ate one biscuit. Mmm, these are yummy. I must eat another one, little fox. Ate another biscuit. By the time he reached the school, little fox had eaten all the biscuits. We left for school without you because you were late again. I hope you're not angry. Little Rabbit said, not at all. I was studying all night again. That's why I was late, Little Fox lied. No matter how hard I try, I always end up lying, Little Fox thought. Not a single carrot biscuit is left for Little Rabbit. What would she eat for lunch? Little Fox wondered. The lunch break started and they all sat together to eat. Oh no, I left my lunch at home, Little Rabbit said. Let's all share and eat. Little Bear suggested Little Fox remembered that he ate all Little Rabbit's lunch. He realized his friend was hungry. As the results of his actions, he felt very ashamed and left the table. Where did Little Fox go? Little Bear asked Little Rabbit. There he is. Little Rabbit pointed to the tree nearby. They went over to Little Fox. Little Fox, are you feeling sick? Little Rabbit asked. Why are you crying? Did we do something wrong? Little Bear asked. Little F Fox was touched by his friend's concern, and he felt even worse. He started crying harder. No, no, guys. You did nothing wrong. I'm the one who did something. You shouldn't have, Little Fox. I shouldn't have, Little Fox sobbed. We all make mistakes, Little Rabbit said. Maybe talking to us about it will help. What did you do? Yes, you can talk to us about what happened, Little Bear said. I'm afraid you guys won't like me after I tell you what I did. Little Fox gulped. Auntie Rabbit gave me a pack of carrot biscuits when I was on my way to school. She asked me to give them to Little Rabbit, but I ate them all. Please tell me you forgive me. I will never, any, ever, never, ever do anything like that again, Little Fox asked. Why did he wait so long to tell us the truth, Little Bear asked. He was a bit angry. I felt bad for lying to you, too, because you guys are my friends, and I know lying is not the way to show you care, but I care for you. I wanted to tell you the truth this morning, but I was too scared to say anything, Little Fox exclaimed through tears. Little Fox, I am upset that you ate my lunch. I would have happily shared it with you, but I forgive you, Little Rabbit said. I'm glad you told us the truth, but remember, when you lie because you're afraid to speak the truth, people lose trust in you, Little Bear said. You're right. To be true to myself and my friends, I need to take responsibility for my actions. I promise to try harder next time, Little Fox said, wiping his eyes. Little Rabbit and Little Bear offered their hands to Little Fox to stand up. Little Fox is really happy that I told the truth and apologized.